Designing your business and the way you want to do business to align with your values and personality will ensure that you're building a business that feels like you. So today I'm going to be sharing how you can impact more people by doing things in line with your genius zone and gain success in your business more joyfully. Hey, thanks so much for joining me today. If you are new here, I'm Lydia Lee. I'm a work reinvention coach and small business strategist that helps you to build a business that's designed from your strengths, your values, and your personality. Don't forget to hit the notification uh, button and the subscribe button to be the first to know whenever I release a brand new video every single week and to participate in this community. So today's video is brought to you by uh, my personal experience dealing with a webinar troll a couple weeks ago, uh, which prompted me and really inspired this topic for today's video. Uh, so I have been hosting uh, some live stream conversations and webinars to help people uh, navigate uh, change at work during the, the time of COVID-19. Uh, and I had a guest on the show uh, to share what's worked for both of us as business owners in using the platform LinkedIn uh, to connect with clients and and build genuine relationships. So another business owner joined the stream and then proceeded to troll us and even emailed me after to counter every personal experience that we both shared during that stream about what's worked for both of us, right? He wanted to know the hacks, uh, the metrics, right, for our success, that formula that he thinks that he needed to come and learn, right? He was really focused on things like how many followers we had, how many likes we had in the posts, and kind of just downplayed any other human first strategies that weren't those vanity metrics. Now he even like wrote me a lengthy email explaining his uh, displeasure for attending it because you know he had to stay the full hour right for that webinar. So instead of getting uh, you know telling him to kindly go away, right, I explained a few things to him that I thought would be worth sharing so that you too can design your business to suit your values and personality and know that there is no one way to reach your version of success. So the first thing I want to say is if being transparent, honest, and helpful are part of your values as a business owner, you don't need to be an expert in anything to share your experience and be helpful. It's important to share what works for all of us as business owners because we have different personalities, strengths, and opportunities that are essential for other people, right, that can learn from us to steer away from that fake foolproof formula and learn some real and raw experiences that actually makes the difference for us and our business. So one of the things that this guy, right, that trolled me on the webinar said to me uh, was that I have to have some sort of blueprint on how to deal with LinkedIn in a way that would allow, you know, the algorithms and all those things. And if I didn't figure that out, I wasn't allowed to teach about LinkedIn. <laughs> and so that kind of brings to my attention why so many people feel like imposters whenever they share anything in their business, because that's the kind of energy they get for cert from certain business owners and what they believe they have to be in order to even start being valuable right, or giving value to other people. Right. But what you have to realize if that value of a transparency, honesty and helpfulness, right, is part of your values is to actually do your audience a favor and share what's working for you, even if it's not some, you know, uh, particular beating the algorithm or, or hacking through things. But if it brought you success and if it helped you to realize something important for you and your business or it helped you to get out of your own way towards a particular version of success that's meant for you, please share it because there isn't just one way to get there and we can learn from each other's experiences and personality types. And this next piece of advice, I think, is probably one of the most important advice that I have to always remember for my business, but also one that I know is true. And that is staying true to the metrics that really matter to you. Now, our metrics of, of success aren't linked to things like vanity metrics of how many fans we have on our Facebook page or the number of email subscribers that we have. Now, trust me, I've built a six figure business, not because I have millions of followers on my channels, but because of the number of deep conversations and rich, authentic, meaningful conversations that I've been having with real people one to one. 
Now you can't see those metrics on my platform and that troll was certainly focused on the only credibility that I had in the game was only about the numbers that I had and had to be in these high numbers, right? For a micro business like me with high touch services, the quality of my relationships are so much more important than the quantity of my fans. So for many of you, this might also be true, right? And your attention to things like meaningful conversations where you're not a sleazy sleaze bag trying to connect with people online, right? And you build great relationships. These are your metrics of success. These are the metrics you should really hold true to you, right? So I want you to check in with yourself. What are some of the things that make you feel meaningful and fulfilled when you think about activities that you want to do in your business? How do you want to connect with clients? How do you want to sell your products? How do you want to show up and market and promote the things that are important to you? And how does that, how can you make sure that is aligned with your personality, your values and your strengths? Because that's the most important piece to ensure that you're actually showing up consistently and serving your clients on a committed level. The next thing I want you to know is focus on sharing what you do know and meet people where they're at. Now, just like the example I showed you with this webinar troll, right? Not being able to please someone like he, him who wanted to know something very specific that I don't offer and isn't in alignment, right? With my values and the style that I would offer to solve a problem. So the message here is you can't please every single level of learning and every single level of approach. You can only share what and teach, right? What's relevant to you and your audience. So for example, my, uh, my audience are new business owners and professionals that are trying transitioning to starting a small business. And I think that that was more helpful for them, right? To know that going through LinkedIn in the most simplified and most genuine way of approaching people rather than trying to hack the algorithm and not getting results uh, in a way that they want to get results, right? So sometimes sharing those foundations as a starting point for people can help them meet them where they're at and not at a faraway dream that they can't reach right now. So for example, if I went into algorithms and went into you know these complicated hacks that were going to help people you know get, go from zero to a thousand you know followers on LinkedIn or Facebook or wherever it is right away, it feels too daunting. Rather than actually, why don't we you know just have you uh, commit and go after your first 20 followers that are going to be your ideal clients and how do you onboard them to a wonderful community, right? These basic steps can be more important for other people just to start. So rather than boasting about your stats and your metrics and how they too can get there, focus on genuinely figuring out what is the simplest place to really help your clients achieve certain things. And that might be also really in alignment with your values again, right? Where you believe that there is no trick and, you know, shortcut to get somewhere and honor that. I think people really value genuineness and they value authenticity. And when you can really understand, hey, you're at a starting point, I may know a little bit more than you, but I'm not going to have you do something that is too big, big of a bite to chew or too big of a leap to have today. Instead, I just want to get you to simply start. And I think people really appreciate when you can meet them when they're at that way. So I thought I would share this today because we are going into a world where we're doing more webinars, right? More classes for people. And there's going to be so much critical uh, feedback that can happen in the public arena. And I want you to feel not afraid of it or try not to feel afraid of it so that you can continue to share the value of your work and focus on the people that really will value your work rather than the trolls that could just take up headspace in your brain. So do you and keep sharing uh, all the behind the scenes of what's working in your business, what you're dealing with in your life, uh, and continue to simply be helpful to other people. We really need you out there. Thank you so very much for joining me today. And if you enjoyed uh, the message in this video, if you found a great aha moment from this conversation today, please comment below and tell me what was your biggest takeaway from this video. And better yet, do share it with someone that you know would benefit strongly from watching it. I'll see you next week.